to be able to capture schematics and place route circuits. GEDA or GEDA can be used. On this system, GEDA has already been built from source and installed on Segwit platform. Execute G-Scheme for schematic capture. Instantiate three circuit elements and connect them in the circuit with the netlist. The netlist connects the end of one element to another end of other elements. Now let's finish up the schematics of the circuit. For the circuit to be placed and routed, the element footprints need to be specified. Highlight the footprint attribute and specify a value for it. Do the same for resistor 2. Footprint specification for resistor 3. Save the schematics with file extension .sch. Convert the schematic to PCB format. Open the PCB file of the circuit. Disperse all circuit elements. The circuit elements can be moved around in any way, and the auto router is still able to find a set of routing to realize the schematic analysis. This is the final place route results of the circuit. Let's go back to the original state and go through the GATA installation steps. From Windows system, start the second platform. Go to GitHub GATA project. Go to schematic program, GATA and friends. For second of the day, package 3.1.6. G-Scheme version 1.7.1 .1 can be built and run. Go ahead make a clone of G-Scheme in local drive. Go to G-Scheme directory. Check out revision 1.7.1. .1. Execute autogen script. Configure the build. Build G scheme with Mac. The build process has encountered an error due to a GLive include change. Fix it by include GLive DH instead. Save the code change. Resume building. The code is now compiled without any errors. Install GSkin package with make install. Test run GSkin. It runs all right. Now, turn our attention to PCB app. Go to GitHub GitHub project. Go to PCB. The latest version, 4.2.2, .2, is fine. And let's clone it to local disk. SQ Autogen script. Configure for the build. Build PCB with main. Builds without any errors. Install PCB package with the make install. Test run PCB. It runs all right. That concludes the presentation. Gracias. Hasta la vista. Adios.